Welcome to War News with Todd and Dodd. It's September the 1st, 1939. Today, war declared on Germany by Britain and France at 11 o'clock. 3rd of September, 1939. I'm here to interview Hitler. Can I, can I ask you some questions, Hitler? Proceed. I heard you attacked Poland. This is true. Yes, because they've taken part of Germany, which is rightfully ours. What do you think is a superior race? Blue eyes, blonde hair, pale skin. Why do you hate Jews so much? Because during World War I, they conspired against us. Well, Hitler, I've, I've um, heard that you're planning a secret attack on Britain. Well, is, is this true? I'm fed off of your ignorant ways. You know too much. Germany shall win this war. This interview is finished. Uh, um, he hail Hitler. Back to the studio. Cut. September 1939. Now we are heading over to Miss Crimson with the evacuees. I'm here on a train full of evacuee children and their teacher, Miss Oldham. Do you take you will stay? You will turn back to the country. The city will stay in the countryside. I think I'll stay in the countryside because it's beautiful and not the children. with some evacuees from Manchester. I'm here with Miss Crimson, Mrs Dawson and their evacuee, Brian. Brian, are you enjoying your stay in the countryside? Yes, I like it. I'm living above the shop where my host mum and Mrs Dawson works. Action. Hello Miss Crimson, have you enjoyed having an evacuee? Yes I have. I've been a lot less lonely with her now. But it's a little stressful. All these men and women come to ask me to take more young evacuees into my home. This is Mrs Dawson, a shopkeeper. Has, has the war affected your shop at all? Yes, because I've got an evacuee, Brian, who was interviewed earlier. And also, my, I run the shop, and so I have to d um, deal with all the ration books. I do get a bit tired of cutting out all the coupons and stamping the, the pages in the book every day. Because people can't buy food freely like they used to. It's all rationed because all the supply ships are being sunk. Thank you, Miss Crimson, Mrs. Dawson, and Brian and Elsie. Back to the studio. It's February the 19th, 1940. Now I will hand it over to Miss Hampton, whose house has been turned into a hospital. Hello, and welcome to Clifford Manor. My name's Mrs. Hampton, and this is my house. When I heard about the war, I felt so bad that my big old house was standing here, alone and empty, doing nothing for the war effort. I inquired to the government whether I could transform it into a hospital for injured soldiers, and just a few weeks later, it's a working hospital with nurses and patients. Oh, here's my head nurse now. Her name's Doris. Hello, Doris. What are you doing at the moment? I'm treating a patient called George. He broke his arm and got shot in the leg in battle. Oh, how terrible! Well, I'm sure he'll get better soon. He's under in such good care. Can we go and visit him? Yes, of course. He loves visitors. Hello, George. You have a visitor. Oh, hello, Nurse Doris. Who is my visitor? It's Mrs. Hampton. Good day, George. Oh, hello, Miss Hampton. So, George, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay, but my arm and my leg hurt. But I know I'm in good care. So, I hope for your operation now. Yeah, I'm off for an operation to try and get the bullet out of my leg. Bye, Goodbye, George. George. Bye. Welcome. It is the 12th of June, 1941. We are going over to Miss Berkshire, who is interviewing the farmers. Hello and welcome to today's Farmyard Special, where we'll be meeting Farmer Robert and his new assistant, Paolo. Hello, Farmer Robert. How are you? Very well, thank you. How did your farming help the war? Well, we, uh, we slaughter pigs for the rationing, for, like, obviously meat. Uh, we grow wheat for, to make bread and we also milk our cows to make butter and milk. You really do help the war then? Yes, we do like to help with the rationing and the local peoples and town peoples. 
I've heard that you have a new farmer assistant. Can I meet him? Yes, Paolo, would you like me to take, take, take you over to him? Yes, please. Okay, I'm just going to see him. Hello, Paolo, how are you? I'm fine, but I am a little bit scared. Because if I squash a vegetable, I'll be punished. Oh no, that sounds a little bit harsh. How did you get here? I was I was captured by the English and I was made here to work at the farm. Do you get paid? No, but I get to eat and drink. 22nd, 1936. We are going over to Greg Peach, who who is who has his own weapon show. Hello and welcome back to the weapon show where we'll be um, updating you with the newest military technology. So here it is, the Colt M1911. This is a semi-automatic gun produced in large quantities in Norway, America and Argentina. It has a detachable seven ram magazine and is um, a semi-automatic handgun. It is commonly used in battle. Welcome, it is the 3rd of May, 1942. Now we are heading over to Paul Wright who is interviewing Winston Churchill. I'm here to interview Mr. Churchill. I'll ask you some questions, Mr. Churchill. Yes, proceed. What are you going to do to help Britain win the war? I'm going to send troops over to France to stop the Nazis and Hitler from reaching Britain. <sighs> May I ask you some questions, Mr. Churchill? Yes, proceed. What are you going to do to help Britain win the war? I'm going to send troops over to France to stop the Nazis and Hitler from reaching Britain. Do you have anything to say to Britain? Yes. The more people that try in the war, the more likely we'll win, and the and the oh soldiers will the soldiers will come back to their families. Well, it has been very interesting interviewing you, Mr. Churchill. But it's time you go back to the studio. That was war news with Todd and Dodds. Goodbye, Goodbye for now.